Beth, I know you hear me calling you. What is it, honey? I'm trying to take my pills, but they fell on the floor. Could you pick them up for me, please? Oh my gosh, John. I'm tired too. Can't you wait until Amanda gets here? You know I take my pills at 9 o'clock. My legs are hurting. I can't move right now. Good morning, Beth. What time is it? 9.05. And you're supposed to be here at what time? 9 o'clock. Exactly. You're late. I'm sorry. I had to catch the bus and we ran into traffic and it was just a nightmare getting over here. Save it. I think John needs your help. Okay. Amanda, can you clean my room when you're done? Yes, ma'am. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Same as every day. Hey, baby, I'll be back later. I'm going to have brunch with the girls. Okay. Can you pick up my medication from the pharmacy on your way back? I'm sure Amanda wouldn't mind taking care of it. <sighs> Why does she have to behave that way? Ever since I got sick, she's changed. It's been so long, I'm just used to it. I don't want to speak ill of your wife, but she's a very selfish person. The only reason I still work here is because you're a nice person, and I know if I left, she would just leave here to suffer. Amanda. You've been taking care of me for six years now. You've never complained. You've never gotten mad at me. Lord knows we've been through a lot. Just promise me you won't let anything my wife does upset you or provoke you. James 4, 6. For he gives more grace. Therefore it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Amen. One day you're going to shine, sugar. See you later. Okay. Amanda, you're early. I was trying not to be as late as I was yesterday. Who's this? Uh, it's my trainer. He was just sleeping. Good morning, John. Hey, good morning. You okay? Things are getting worse with your wife. I just saw a man leaving. I know. I heard him all night. Doesn't that hurt you? <laughs> it hurts me so badly. I cried myself to sleep. You don't deserve this. She shouldn't be doing the things that she's doing. Don't let this upset you. Remember what I told you. One day you're gonna shine. Are you gonna be okay while I'm gone? I think I'll survive three days without you. I've never left you for this long before. I just want to make sure you're going to be okay. Amanda, I want you to enjoy your vacation. You've earned it. Don't you worry about me. Okay. So where are you going? I'm going to visit family. I haven't seen them in forever. I'm sure they'll be so happy to see you. Good morning, Mr. Jackson. I'm so glad you could make it. 
Come on. It's a pleasure. Begin reading the will of your lady husband, Mr. Taylor. Okay. Would you like me to read uh, all of the clauses to you? Uh, no, you can just skip right to the assets. Okay. As for the 27,000 square foot house in Dallas, Texas, Mr. Taylor states that should go to his wife, Beth Taylor. As for the 4,000 square foot penthouse in Manhattan, New York, Mr. Taylor states that should go to his wife, Beth Taylor. As for the 2020 Escalade truck and the 2020 Mercedes, Mr. Taylor states that that should go to his wife, Beth Taylor. Hmm. Everything okay? Yes, um, is there someone here by the name of Amanda Fox? Uh, are you sure you're reading that right? Uh, Amanda's our maid. Um, there must be some mistake. No, I'm pretty sure it says Amanda Fox. Is she here? Yes, she's cleaning her room. Can you get her for me? Sure. Uh, Amanda, can you come here? Okay, I'll be on in a second. Hi, Amanda. I'm Mr. Taylor's lawyer. You mind having a seat? It's nice to meet you. When it comes to Mr. Taylor's savings account, $726 million, Mr. Taylor states that this should go to his best friend, Amanda Fox. Are you serious? Uh, that's what your husband wanted. I've been with him for 10 years and he's gonna give the maid his money? Mrs. Taylor, can you please calm down so we can finish reading? We have a lot of will to go here. When it comes to your husband's company, Taylor's Limited, Mr. Taylor states that Amanda Fox should inherit this company. You've got to be kidding me. Are you sure you're reading this right? Well, yeah, it's written plain and clear. I will have my lawyer look into this. I don't believe a word you're saying. Okay, well, he left you to a note. To Amanda, the lady I hired to take care of me that became my best friend and my guardian angel. I cannot convey the words to explain the level of love and appreciation that I have for you. You truly are a generous person, a kind, welcoming, caring, and even more, the only person who gave me hope when no one cared. The only regret I had is that I'm not there to tell you this in person. But remember what I always said, one day, you will shine. This is my departing gift for you. Continue being kind. I love you. To my wife, Beth. I don't have much to say. The memories we have are too painful to remember. I always told you to treat everyone as equal. Never put yourself above anyone. We're all human, but still, you love no one, you help no one, you cared for no one but yourself. I left the house, the penthouse, and the cars to you for one reason. You've always cursed them. And it would be a sin to give that to anyone else. I'm happy I departed from your presence. I wish you the best that life has to offer. I hope you change one day. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. The moral of the story is being loving and kind can reward you in ways beyond your imagination. If you love someone, you should take care of that person no matter what. Everyone has feelings and deserves to be loved. What you put out, you will attract. Treat people how you would like to be treated. Ill-treating your partner because they became ill and you no longer see them as useful to you is an act of wickedness. You should never use or abuse anyone. Thank you for watching. And make sure to like and subscribe so you can always see the new videos when we upload. Vid Chronica videos are made to inspire people. Like and share this video so others can receive the message. And, and remember, remember to always let love lead the way. way.